This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAP and PICAT says, at a company, there are 600 employees. Of these employees, three-fifths are married females and one-sixth are married males. What is the total number of married employees? So let's start with the married females. Again, we know there are 600 employees at the company and three-fifths of them are married females. So we're going to do 600 times three-fifths. Of course, we can write 600 as a fraction by placing it over one. This enables us to cross reduce. That is to say, I can say five goes into five one time. Five goes into 60 12 times. Therefore, it goes into 600 120 times. This becomes 120 over one, which is 120 times three over one, which is three. And so as not to make a mistake, I'm gonna do this part off to the side. What is 120 times three? Three times zero is zero. Uh, two times three is six. Three times one is three. So 360 of the 600 employees are married females. Let's go ahead and find out how many of the males are married. Again, we have 600 employees at this company. One sixth of, of them are married males. So we're gonna do 600 times one sixth. In order to do this multiplication, I'm gonna write 600 as a fraction by placing it over one. Now I'm gonna cross reduce, that is to say, I can say six goes into six one time, six goes into 600 a hundred times. This becomes 100 over one, which is 100, times one over one, which is one. 100 times one is 100. So there are 360 ma married females and 100 married males at this company. How many are married in total? Well, that's gonna be 360 plus 100, which is gonna be 460. So in total, D, 460 of the 600 employees are married.